Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 51 through 56. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who for the relief of the poor and for the formation of the clergy, endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant we pray that afire with that same spirit, we may love what he loved. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. Luke, we come to a distinct turning point in St. Luke's Gospel. It's marked by the opening words of today's passage. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. The taking up or the assumption of Jesus refers to his passion and death leading to his resurrection and ascension. At this point, we have now come to the end of Jesus' ministry in Galilee. Jesus is moving on to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, we know, will be the place where it's all going to happen. The exodus of Jesus, so to speak, including his suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension, leading to the passing on of his mission to his disciples with the coming down of the Holy Spirit and Jesus upon the disciples. It will be from Jerusalem that the new church will be established, and from Jerusalem it will spread gradually throughout the whole Mediterranean area until it reaches the empire's capital in Rome, and from there to the ends of the earth. As he set out, Jesus sent some messengers ahead to announce his coming. It would take at least three days to cross Samaria, and the Samaritans were refusing the disciples overnight shelter. Because of this situation, Jewish pilgrims and travelers often avoided confrontation by going down the east bank of the Jordan River. There is an irony here when the first Christians were persecuted in Jerusalem, they took refuge in Samaria, which became one of the first places to accept the gospel. Faced with this hostility, the brothers James and John suggested that fire from heaven be called down to burn them up. Their threat is reminiscent of the fire that Elijah brought down on the emissaries of the idolatrous king. They were indignant that their master, the Messiah, should be treated in this way. There is a parallel here between Jesus' negative reception in his hometown of Galilee with his rejection by the people of Samaria. But Jesus distances himself from those disciples and then gives them a scolding. This was not Jesus' way. Instead, they went off to another village where they hoped to find a better welcome. As we see in other parts of the gospel, Jesus does not normally go out of his way to court trouble. On the other hand, he will not hesitate to speak his mind or do what he believes is right. It is never Jesus' way to destroy his enemies. We will see that clearly after he reaches Jerusalem, where far worse things are done to him. Jesus' purpose always is to change people who are against him, to diffuse their hostility and help them to see things in a better way. It is something we could try to do more often. It is not at all the softies' approach. On the contrary, it requires great inner strength and security. Something to ponder. 
After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Renewed by your divine word, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you already haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button, and then also pass it on to your friends and relatives as well. God bless, and have a great day.